Hey guys, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. Now, 2020 was an interesting year. It kind of felt like an episode of The Twilight Zone, right? I mean, whoever thought, like, when you go to the store, everyone looks like they're going to rob a bank. The way they're dressed, I mean, 2020 is definitely going to be one for the history books. They're not going to talk about 2019 or 2018. Like, 100 years from now, they're going to be talking about that. And I don't even know if they'll have books, uh, you know, 100 years from now. I, I guess they'll talk about in the history of Kindles. But anyway, if there's one takeaway from 2020, I think we all need to appreciate things more. Like, that's the takeaway. That's, that's the positive thing we could get out of it, right? Essentially, if you don't appreciate something, you don't value it. And I think we value a lot of things more than we really realize. So going, going forward in 2021 and beyond, um, we really just got to enjoy this journey, you know, because at the end of the day, we all want to make improvements, right? Whether it's in the gym, whether it's in your career, um, whether it's in your relationship, just in general, we always want to improve and it feels like striving towards that, which we should all do and pursue, it's like the goalposts keep moving, right? It's like, it's like that carrot dangling in front of you. You're never going to reach it. You're never actually going to get to the destination. At the end of the day, there's no final, de I guess there's a final de destination when you're gone, but while you're living here, uh, there's no final destination. So I think in general, we, we have to enjoy and appreciate the journey and appreciate what we have now. It's going to give more uh, meaning and value and enjoyment and happiness in your life. And what I really mean by appreciation, friends and family, right? Without connections and other people, all this is meaningless. Uh, and speaking of other people, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. So anyway, here's an update on the channel. The main focus on the video, um, what I want to talk about 20 uh, 21 going forward in the channel. We almost hit my goal of 20 to 25,000 subscribers. So in early January, we're going to finally break 20,000. And for 2021, the goal is 100,000 subscribers. Now I'm setting the bar kind of high because I think it's pointless to set a bar out there that you could essentially just walk over, right? We got to, we got to set it high. Like we should with all of our goals in life. What's the point of setting a bar where, you know, down here, it's like a participation trophy. Basically, we need to do this with participation trophies. So whether we get there or not, you know, it is what it is, but that's what I'm striving for. And I, I plan to post a uh, hundred videos this year, averaging two a week. So everybody who's subscribed, thank you guys so much um, because without you I would literally have one subscriber myself because I'm trying to support the channel and I like the content I put out there so I'm glad a lot more people than just me like it though so that's great and going forward the kind of videos uh, I'll continue to cover the legends that we grew up with like Van Am and Stallone are my favorite guys um, and I know a lot of you guys like them as well so just those two men alone have millions of fans so those are all potential subscribers so if you have any uh, Van Damme or Sloan uh, friends, make sure to share these videos because I think they'll appreciate them too. But we'll also expand the content. Uh, for example, it's almost shocking I haven't done a video on Bruce Lee yet. A lot more to cover. I did like one Arnold Schwarzenegger video. We're going to cover more of him and more of the uh, lesser known guys like uh, Gary Daniels, Billy Blanks, Don the Dragon Wilson. I'm also going to continue to do like the movie breakdowns. Got to cover a lot. Uh, Karate Kid, Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon, Roadhouse. Oh my god, Roadhouse! So there'll be more of that. Also do more fitness related content because I started a series on, um, you know, getting the best shape of my life at 40, which I'm still pursuing and will do. And last time I talked about that was in November because I was going to go on vacation, fell off the diet wagon, etc. So we're back on track. This is uh, what I look like in late December here. But I think I'm going to hit that goal in spring or summer. And I said I'm not going to do another video update on that until I'm actually there. And I'll break down all the training and everything. I know that series kind of motivated some of you guys from the comments section. So not only are we going to make the 80s and 90s great again on this channel, we're going to make middle-aged bodies great again, right? Why can't we be in our prime? Why can't we uh, be in better shape than when we were in college? Or if you're a younger guy in college, uh, maybe that'll motivate you to get in great shape or even better shape. Or if you're even older, uh, let's just make all bodies great again because like I said, there's always room for improvement. So... You know, that's going to be one thing we'll do on the channel. It's not going to be a focus, but it's definitely going to be some extra content on there. Um, and then I'll continue to evolve and expand the channel in general. But the bread and butter is really going to be the 80s and 90s martial arts and action. But we're trying to get stuff that's more related to what's currently going on. For example, 
The most popular video I had in 2020 was actually Mike Tyson's comeback. Uh, that video almost got a million views, which is insane uh, compared to some of my videos that got like a couple hundred. I think the, uh, one of my UFC videos was like the least watched. Um, so, so the goal for 2021, let's get that video that breaks a million views. Now, I'm going to do my part and basically make the best video I can possible, but it the stars really got a line. I think with the Mike Tyson one, you know, there's always an element of luck when it comes with anything in life. And I think the Mike Tyson one, the timing was right. Uh, the YouTube algorithm picked it up. It just, it just worked out. So like I said, we're going to do like 100 videos and comment below if if you want me to do a specific video because I have a notebook with all of your ideas from the various comments and I have like a hundred of my own and you know we're gonna cover a lot this year some of them are more on the back burner some of your ideas some of mine and then some are more like higher up on the priority list some of yours and some of mine so but comment below I'll keep adding to that notebook because we're eventually gonna get to them but anyway I'm excited about 2021 I'm excited about the channel uh, you know all this kind of ties back in real quick uh, so the hundred thousand subs the channel get more popular and then my personal goal related to that best shape of my life at uh, 40 video series I want Greg to set to do a natty or not video on me now the ultimate goal and compliment would actually be if he didn't think I was natural so he seems to be more open-minded when he think when he sees some of these physiques that look amazing like he actually thinks okay maybe they could be natural so for for me um is going to be the ultimate body it's going to be kind of a combination of like rocky four and and then van damme and blood sport and then you know some some other guys too kind of like that build now so the only way i think he might not think i'm natural it's not going to be from like muscular size like you you could build this naturally i don't think he would question that but it's going to be the conditioning uh, so if i could retain this muscle mass and and get you know keep muscle fullness but get in the conditioning like you know stallone like um you know and then being middle-aged essentially that might be the tipping point where it's like okay maybe he doesn't necessarily think i'm natural but regardless if he just covers a channel that means we're popular enough uh where he would actually spend his time to do one of those videos which would be awesome and it ties back into the goal of getting 100,000 subs and then me getting the best shape of my life at 40 so it all just kind of ties together but anyway to wrap it all up you know have an amazing 2021 I'm going to keep giving you the content that uh, a lot of you guys are enjoying on the channel. I'll kind of give you, we'll branch out and do some other type of content as well. But, you know, the bread and butter is what we all love, the 80s and 90s icons, right?